What's up guys? How are you? What's going on? This video, it's a soccer stars video, but not the normal video. And this video we're gonna talk and share with you the method how to become and make a pro goals. Guys, a lot of you through these two years me uploading uh, uh, soccer stars videos on this channel, you guys asking me, Ryan, how do you really set the angle? And the truth is nobody told me the secret. I will call it the dirty little secret that makes the big difference. What's the dirty little secret? Guys, until level 99, I didn't know about it. And I always was trying to uh, imagine only about where my go my ball will go without knowing the really, um, truth method to set the angle right and what it is guys watch this over here i will put right now the player the team and now look at this is rounded is rounded now because it's rounded where when i see that the team uh the player has i had to kick the ball i always am, use my imagination through the rounding of this player on soccer stars which means if the ball if the player is here and the ball is here i will look on the rounding of the player and i will imagine and form a line if i go straight with the rounding uh um you know it's 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 like a it's like a ball right is you're going to kick the ball but you are not a really human foot right so i'm using my imagination according to the rounding and then I will make it close into the ball where, before I kick it and where it's going to touch on the rounding area of the player. And this is where I can, I, I, that's the real secret where you can really set the angle and know where the ball will go. If you got this, guys, if you didn't got it, get it, just uh, make the video go backwards and, and listen to me again. And if once you get this method, you can set and uh, at the angle and play like a pro and I will drop right now a few games and share with you exactly what I just said uh, with uh, showing you um, uh, demonstrate it for you now to start off I'm going to give you guys a quick aiming tip now when you're aiming is very useful to think about the width of your player while you're aiming because if you can visualize the width of your player traveling along the path of your aim it will give you a really good idea of where your player is going to hit the ball and this will really help you with what i'm about to show you guys and how to aim in order to set the aim i like to try to visualize a path of where the ball will travel i call it an aim line now how I create this is, I start off with the center of the ball. My imagined aim line always has to pass through this point or else it will be no good. Now for example, if you want the ball to go to the right in that direction, all you'd have to do is look at where the aim line touches the edge of the ball, opposite of where you want it to go. And that's the point where you would need to hit the ball. Now for this first example, I would need to try to imagine a line, a path of where I want the ball to go. And once I found that line, all I would need to do is figure out where that line touches the edge of the ball, and I would need to hit the ball at that point. And once I do that, the ball will go exactly where I want it to go. So as you can see here, I hit the ball perfectly at that point. And of course, the ball travels in the path of my aim line, and I scored the goal. Now here's a second example, and it's basically the same thing. First, you imagine a line, a path of where you want the ball to go. And remember, for this to work, that line has to pass through the center of the ball. Now, once you found that line, all you need to do is imagine where that line would touch the edge of the ball. And that is the point where you would need to hit the ball. As you can see here, I hit the ball at the right point, And this causes the ball to travel in the path that I aimed for. Now, once you've got the hang of aiming and setting an aim line, it's useful to use that to set angles to bounce the ball off of the wall. Now, what I'm about to show you only works when the ball is close to the wall, but I'll explain why later. So the concept is 
basically the same as what I talked about before with the aim line. You need to set an aim line, but this time it's against the wall. And what you'd want to do here is always notice the angle that your aim line makes when it touches the wall. Now the trick here, the secret to getting the angle perfect is that whatever angle your aim line makes when it hits the wall, that's the same angle that the ball will bounce off of after it hits the wall. And that's the secret here, that two angles are going to be the same. So in our example, we'd first imagine our aim line, trying to find an angle that will work to where it would bounce in between those players. And right here, I found that angle. And I know it's right because when I look at these two angles, they're the same. So I know this aim line is good. So once again, as before, once you found the right aim line, you just look and see where it touches the edge of the ball. And that point is where you'd need to hit the ball. Now the thing is, you're not always gonna hit the ball perfectly, but of course that will come with practice. And right here, I hit the ball perfectly. So of course, the ball travels according to my aim line, exactly. This is what happens when the ball is not close to the wall that you're going to bounce it off of. So right here, based on what I said earlier, you'd expect the ball to take a path sort of like this one. But it actually bounces a bit wider. And as you can see, the two angles are not the same. This is because the ball is far from the wall that we're trying to aim at. It's not close like in the shaded area. Now here's another example. The ball is far away from the wall. And the angle is not what we'd expect it to be. It's not the same. It's actually wider than we'd expect it to be. Now the thing to remember here is that the farther the ball is from the wall that you're going to bounce it off of, the more of a curve it's, the ball is going to have once it bounces and the more wider the angle will be after it bounces. So that's basically something you're just going to have to get the hang of by practicing.